Y'all having fun yet? Morning. We're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Here we go, baby. Back with some more wagon action. Uh, we got the shagging wagon. If we dropped her low, she'd be the dragon wagon. When I get my wife in it, it'll be the nagging wagon. Just playing. Don't tell her I said that. Uh, that was a joke, guys. Uh, this week, or last week, anyhow, we pulled the body on that thing. And, yeah, we got her sitting there. The chassis, it just got rolled out front here. And that's what we're going to do this week. We're going to try to get this thing tore down, uh, make some decisions on what all we're doing, I reckon. I did not say that right. I know what I'm doing here. Uh, I just... I ain't even looked at stuff like our gearbox here. How's that so oily? This thing was only on the road from 61 to 69. So I may need to make some decisions like, uh, are we gonna get a new gearbox? Or, you know, what are we gonna do there? We need to tear that down where it can go to the sandblaster. Got a 700R4 right here that I need to take to the transmission builder. And fair warning, this week I'm just really pressed for time. Uh, yesterday, man slick fitty uh, we hopped in the box truck mafia i drove the datsun now mind you guys around here since i got that thing on the road it probably has five miles on it i'm not joking I ain't i'm always too dirty to drive it uh we hopped in it and the yeehaw we road tripped them all the way to the k bailey convention center in the dallas texas we drove them suckers to the big d you dang right i dropped off the datsun it's still in the convention center she's looking mighty fine then we turned around, hopped back in this thing, drove 75 to 80 on the way home. If you're thinking BS, call BS. I'll prove you wrong, because I got this camera always rolling. We were burning through gas like it ain't nobody's business, but me and Slick, we headed back yesterday, and all of that's going to be a... We had to fix some on the trucks, and we road tripped them down there. I've got to go back this weekend down there uh, to the actual convention, because I think they want me to like smile and wave and sign autographs and stuff or I don't know something like that I'm all new to stuff like this anyhow then I think we're gonna do an interview at the Texas Motor Speedway and yeah so that'll be a video on the second channel next week guys I'm telling y'all if you're not on the second channel you're missing some second channel bangers maybe I get buck nasty and do two videos in one week on the main channel and see how y'all respond to that I don't, the one time i tried it uh the response was not good so anyhow we'll figure that out y'all know me y'all know i just fire from the hip on what i do uh so that's what we're getting into this week let me get my tools out of the yeehaw uh gonna be a beautiful day today so i think we'll just move the yeehaw and work here outside see if we can't get a sunburn now speaking of sunburn and stuff that's hot you want to talk about what's hot love tap shirts hot richardson 112 hats scorching dancing shirts blazing international gray long sleeve we got some sausages the logo and the truck still guys uh, we appreciate the support there a lot of this stuff is already sold uh it's gonna start getting boxed up and shipped out today but there still is a little bit left on there. Uh, so if you want you one, you better hop on there and get you one before they're gone. We appreciate y'all support there. Uh, it means a ton to me and my family. Thank you. Try to keep y'all some good looking merchandise going out. Boy, my left eye is driving me crazy this morning. I might be in a damn eye patch by the end of the day. Actually, that's all metric crap. I probably don't really need any of this. All right, I'll get the yeehaw out the way. And then, man, this old chassis is going to start to play. And we're going to see which one wins and who has a good day. Yeah, yeah. Run. 
gonna start off right with a little electro light. Oh, no, that's the electro lit. We're gonna get lit up in this piece. Tastes good, matches my sweater. Oh, I got glasses that matches this. These babies are unreleased. I've had them in the old storage cabinet. There, we got the pink tent gold frame. You know, that looks good. Side shields, safety first. Ow! <laughs> good stuff. Got us some wrenches, got the old impact machine, and we'll grab our sockets. We'll just see where that gets us, guys. These, when you got a nice fresh pink lens, to me it like gives me x-ray vision. I can see through everything. Y'all think I'm playing, but it's just like, it knocks the brightness off everything and it makes it just like crystal clear. It's amazing. It's basically like polishing your eyeballs probably, like how you polish a headlight and restore it. This is like polished eyeballs right here. Just found a flat tire there. Yeah. Oh. Put the old glutes to work. Then you want to chalk your wheel with a block that that tire can very easily run over. What in the body shimming did we have going on here? That sure is a lot of shims. Is that from the factory? I know the front had shims for sure. Looks like this one had a couple too. My oh my, this thing was shimmed up. That's right. I think all these body shims come from the core support area. You better hold on to them because you just never know. Now, where do we want to start? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'd probably do pretty good to get this old uh, drivetrain out of here. This old 283 has uh, definitely, definitely seen better days. Don't mind that bazooka hole right there that are rod probably flung through there well we'll start right here we probably want to get our shifter rod because we may have to adapt that to make it work looks like if we can get rid of this old cotter pin here maybe possibly that's right pull that baby and boom we got our shifter linkage rod thingy majigger we may want to hold on to that and then this right here uh, for the old accelerating pedal device uh, we probably want to pull these and get that old bracket. Quick little 9 sixteenths action will do. And the Ugga Dugga machine always comes through. How about we get a little looby dooby pre soaking action going on here on our engine mount bolts? Maybe our idler arm bolts here. Boy, that stuff's in good looking shape, ain't it? Maybe all the oil that used to be in that engine somehow made it on our suspension. It ran out of oil and it blew the motor. I think I just solved how this wagon ended up with the fate of being in a junkyard for most of its life. The great oil mystery of 1969. Solved here by Detective Poudan. Just playing guys, here's what I really think happened. Did y'all see this thing had red stillies on it? That's right, someone painted the factory stillies red. Y'all know she had the power pack heads on her. Or someone painted Mr. Horsepower on the fender. So basically what I'm saying is this, someone thought they had a had a hot rod. And what I think happened is on that car, they just, you know, they wrote a check that their ass couldn't, you know, cash. And sent a rod flying through the oil pan, apparently. <laughs> hot riding around in their daddy's wagon or something, who knows? Uh, I just like making up baloney, I guess. We'll pull our hardware for this and then whoop, pull her up out. What is she, about 11 sixteenths worth? Man, that makes life easy, don't it? Had to get the extension kit so we could uh, extendo Richo, but we got her dead. And we may wanna hold on to them too. Next, transmission mount. Let's see what we got going on down here. Uh-huh, there's our opening. Be a couple bolts or something up in there. There's one. There's two. 
Well, the pink lens is good for uh, knocking down glares or whatnot. A pink lens is not gonna cut it if you wanna have a uh, eye staring contest with the sun, okay? That's like bringing a damn spoon to a gunfight or something. You just, well, you ain't gonna make out good, you know? Shoot, I reckon if we had a way to pull this, we could probably try to pull it. I bet we get this old travel law here out the way and we'll figure something out. Oh, yeah, I know there ain't a job the old tow roller can't handle. Uh, before we get too buck nasty here, I'm gonna see if I can find my baseball bat. Oh, can't hide from me. You can see the edge of my tires there is getting chewed up. I don't know if it's from this lip in here or what. It ain't pushing it like I want it to. And my next time I have free time, I'll just pull the wheels and tires off, beat the piss out of it with a hammer instead. My oh my, t-shirt weather already. I like it. Extendo Armo, cuz. We're getting pretty close right there. After checking the trigonometry on that, next we're gonna use some uh, geometry for some stabilization up in this uh, engine hoist situation. That's right, that old roof rack ain't just for looks, okay? Uh-huh, that roof rack will hold or it won't. What the hell are you flying a biplane? What is this, 1946? Get the hell out of here. Bring her down a little bit. Oh, oh, too much. That was all of it, not a little bit. It'll work or it won't. Better grab that old Sawzall real quick. Oh, I wish the camera was in there. I just smoked that thing into the trash can. I think in all the throws of the channel, that's the second one that's ever made it. Y'all see that wire bouncing? That's because I smoked that thing direct hit. Use that as a backboard. Your boy's on point today. Got a freaking cannon of an arm. Anyhow, uh, let's let the Sawzall and them uh, trans cooler lines hang out together. Same with that. Just so we ain't gotta fight it any, just in case. Going up. Uh, we do have our yoke in the transmission still. I'm hoping it can slip out as we get it elevated some. As much as that's pulled on that, we ain't lifted it one bit. Uh, all we're doing is lowering the back of this tow roller. That's looking good. She's just tucking a small amount of tire. Ever so slightly. Huh? Who's moving now, huh? Oh, I see a little floating action going on. Little Carolina squawk. Oh, wild man Bill's here. Drop it down just a hair so we can try to uh slip that are you laughing at bill <laughs> that's been in there a minute there she goes just some love taps to motivate it you know my beautiful assistant bill's uh Hold mat shaft up because it was binding into the rear end. That drive shaft super rusty. I don't think we're gonna be able to use that. She's free. I'm old power glide had them monster splines. Y'all got 31 spline stuff like that. Power glide believed in like 14. I figured that motor and transmission could go forward some, but it didn't. So yeah, there's a carrier bearing in here, right? Where the, there it is. Yeah. 
One bolt or two? It's supposed to be two. I think there's only one in there. Ain't that right, Bill? I said whoever chained that sucker got her nice and level. Now Bill can do more engine investigating here. Number one was having fun until it wasn't. Then it spun that sucker. Uh, why, why'd we lose her, Bill? Expert too, analysis. Too many RPMs. <laughs> Not enough oil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of giving her hell, uh, the Torola's plum pissed at me right now. This thing is not happy. No, you didn't do nothing. You ain't got enough hiney on you. <laughs> Just a, it's like a built-in parking brake, guys. A premium feature of this old car. Just because we don't want to have to huff this thing around or move it anymore. I'm going to set her down by the road and put free on it. And I bet it is out of our hair by the end of the day. How long do you think she lasts, Bill? I bet it's gone pretty quick. I just don't want to have to move that, move this. Uh, I have a scrap metal guy that I usually save all my stuff for. Like our uh, pristine condition oil pan here will save for him. But that thing, if we can just get it gone... Let's get her gone. I'm about to put my foot up a crow's ass. Where in the damn town? Go away. There's part of our carrier bearing right there. The other half is still up in there. It's gonna uh, keep us from pulling through. That is plumb full of rat's crap. So before I get too uh, arms deep into something like that, uh, it's time to grab some Taco Boy, I do believe. How them tacos treating you, Bill? Uh-huh. Me and Bill's getting the taco boy, and I said, I probably shouldn't have left that down there saying free scrap where I'm, you know, someone could hurt themselves with my damn creation down there. And sure enough, we weren't gone 20 minutes. <laughs> Come back. It's gone. She gone. Head to the scrap yard, probably. Was that motor buildable? Just doing our part recycling here, guys. Woo, baby. Let's eat. Happy belly, happy pudding. Uh, whoever took the stuff was nice and left our left my chain there. I thought they took it for a second. All right, we're gonna carry on with uh, the front here. Going down. Perfect. No. Oh. Here's how to properly remove a tie rod end. We ain't cut through nothing besides the damn uh, grease. Hey yo, brand new blade changed her mind, didn't it? Here's the dealio. We're going with two inch drop spindles. Uh, we're rebuilding all of this crap. So instead of trying to fight that and get it apart, whoo, she gets the saws off. Sway bar in link. Uh, I don't know if I have a new bolt for that, but now we need one. <laughs> Brake hoses, overrated. Just playing, y'all know we're gonna replace all that anyways uh, with our disc brake conversion kit. Upper shock mount. She is D-U-N. She's done for. Our gearbox has obviously been leaking. Could just be that drain there. Uh, I was on the fence if I was going to do the power steering conversion kit. But I found a kit that's fairly affordable. It's through CPP. It's got uh, a new uh, box here that takes your power steering lines. So if you didn't know X-Frame cars, uh, the factory power steering, very similar. Or the exact same thing. As like the Corvettes have, they have that like ram with the valve and they're just, uh, I had one on my 64, I was rebuilding the stuff on it all the time trying to keep it from leaking. So this kit, 
replaces your gearbox, gives you a new uh, 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 drag arm, whatever, new idler arm. And yeah, you just replace all that with a upgraded, better system. All this wasn't plumb coated and stuff like it's been leaking since 1961 when this was new. We may leave it, but at the price of one of them gearboxes uh, and then all that crap, we're just money ahead to upgrade it. And I went through earlier and I uh, took a bunch of pictures of our fuel line and our brake line and how they kind of mapped it and ran her to the back. Her brake line goes right there. Fuel line crosses over, does a whoop de doo and a half, goes underneath, pops back up over there. Just a damn maze of uh, a fuel line. And we're gonna rip that crap off there too because we're gonna put new on it. Not that this one's stopped up or anything. Gonna try to not break our clips and hopefully we can just leave them on the chassis. Need to get us a little uh, socket set up. Can't even see down in here to see what we got going on. Too much crud. Ah, oh, some of them push-in clips you see right there. Nothing ye old pry bar could not handle. Hey, underneath all that grit and grime, maybe we had some good uh, lines underneath there still. Yeah, dang it. Got buck nasty with it and broke our clip right there. Try to be a little more delicate with her back here. Yeah, there's that rust. You can't hide from me. Fuel hose has a clamp back there and down here. Hey yo, she's free now. Whoop. Next, I reckon we'll get the rest of our uh, steering off and our sway bar there. She's just a big old station wagon, you know, with an X frame that's designed to twist. So let's just put a beefy sway bar on there. The size of a milkshake straw. Just a little rust on her. Uh, nice little fine, fine thread unit with one healthy, girthy washer there. Take them three out and she gets floppy. Got a spacer there for that idler arm. We don't want to lose just in case. Well, shoot, that's one way to take it off. We probably need our steering shaft there. I don't think these come off unless you take the bolt out all the way. Now that I think about it, I think the shaft has a little indent that the bolt goes through. Let's see if she'll come off now with that out of there. Hey, it's magic. Do you believe in magic? Cause holy shit, there was a little groove that was holding it. Speaking of magic, did you see that floating impact trick? Abercadaber. I made her float. Guys, taking all this stuff apart, obviously a little easier for me because I can use the old sawzall and lop some of it. But even if you got to actually properly pull it apart, it ain't bad. Honestly, it ain't even bad to do it when it's on the vehicle. But luckily for us, we're not reusing some of this crap so we can lop it. And we don't have to crawl underneath the vehicle because we done did the work to get the chassis exposed.
That's flying blind there. Didn't even look. Just guessed and pop, pop. And that old shock went <laughs> drop, drop. See, our uh, little dustpan had made it to the, or backing plate had made it to the rusty ground. It's all nice and corroded. Good thing none of that matters, I reckon. Well, that's an issue. I can tell just by the looks of it. I knew this stuff was going to be ornery. Camera died. Uh, as you can imagine, this coil spring's got a little ass on it, okay? It's a strong spring. We don't have no jive train uh, helping squat that. So, I thought the camera was rolling. Battery died. I had the jack and the chain in a way, whereas I jacked up on it. I was hoping the chain was going to hold it down. I was wanting to see that uh, spring compress a little. Well, it did compress a little. And then I heard roll, 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 slam, bang, boom. Uh, it fell off our jack stands here. Trying to take what weight I can off here. Got it chained super tight. I'm going to try to just pull these bolts and fold that up and over. Uh, it's going to have a little tension on it, so we're just going to be, you know, as smart as we can here. See it pop up some? Hey, yo. Over here, I'm just gonna do it the same way. I ain't even gonna mess with them ball joints till we get this apart. <laughs> well, that really got her lifted in the air, didn't it? lift kit spring right there all right i guess we can pull our lower control arms then we'll figure out how to separate that crap because we need our control arms back messing with that on the ground is going to be a pain in the rear but we're here there ain't nothing we can do besides get her done so the lower control arms you got one big boy in the back one girthy bolt and then two smaller ones in the front There's the nut plate. It just sits up in there. Definitely don't want to lose that guy right there. Going up, going down. Yeah, I figured that would have fell to the ground. The pry bar action helped change her mind. And as far as the front goes, our frame at least is a uh, pert near stripped down. Yep. There we go. Just get that off there. Could probably spend a good day prying crap off of this frame. cleaner a little no oh. I ain't gonna pull them apart yet I'm gonna let them sit and think about what they did you know a little timeout action uh, but to pull the rear apart I want to get it forward this will be our work area so we need to uh, take her that away That thing ain't too bad. These frames are pretty light once they're all uh, whoop, stripped down. Oh. I 
I told y'all she had the rat poo poo in there. The U joints are freaking perfect on this thing. Like they have hardly any miles. Oh, drive shaft's bent right there, I see. So yeah, that thing got bent at one point. It was rusted and in bad shape anyhow, so we ain't gonna be able to use this half. Hey, now speaking of U joints and low miles, cause this thing was only on the road for like eight years. I have yet to look inside this thing and see what the odometer reads. Mainly because I can't read. But I hyped myself up for this one. I think if we concentrate, we can do it. 78,154 miles. Last tagged in 69. I bet that's 78,000 original miles. Unfortunately, just sitting in the sun uh, was not good to our interior though. 78,000 original hard miles. Them, them babies were earned. Oh. I figured I had enough junk in my trunk to keep them from flying out. And man, what a set of springs they put on this thing all the way around. I mean, hell, our uh, back ones here and here, they're falling over is what they are. Now they're just maybe a hair shorter than these. Uh, but basically the same damn thing. Woo! That thing is not happy. But we need that to be happy. Give it a little looby dooby. Go for a little Pot County rethread action. Give me my socket back. We need that to be good because we got to reuse these. The slide's in there. It's got some little splines that kind of bump into the bracket to keep it indexed like that. Because obviously that holds our shock and it's also our lower bolt for our lower arm. This side was a lot nicer than that side. Just happened to look up here and I seen these so I just figured whoop. We'll disconnect them real quick. That's dirty enough. I can't even tell how that's retained. Oh, retained with a clip I just twisted. We we'll hit this baby with the quick disconnect feature. Uh huh. She gone. Then our brake cables they get clamped to our trailing arms. It's always so much easier when you just cut them things. Boy, we just have not got the amount done. I thought we would have got done today. I thought for sure all this was going to be blown apart. Uh, no, no, Napoleon blown apart. Uh, and the bushings pulled out. But, yeah, not quite there yet. Uh, let's get the pan hard bar next. That's that thing right there. We got lower control arms. That's where our springs went. You got your upper banana bar, the old nanner bar. And that all lets that rear end flow up and down. You don't want your rear end going side to side. And in this case, that's what that pan hard bar is doing. It's stopping it. Well, that's putting these whole fatty McFat fats on the back. Oh, 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 oh. We may have to make our pan hard bar adjustable because as your suspension goes up and down and that thing goes like that, it actually pulls your rear end uh, side to side just a little bit it's kind of hard to explain most y'all get it though uh but anyhow what i'm saying is with a squat in the rear of this a little bit and having them fatties in there it's probably gonna have to be centered dead nuts perfect at ride height uh, to not be rubbing on either side <laughs> there's that old crunchy thing here, let me clean it up some. What is that? Oh, that's like an undercoating spray. Actually, that's what that is. And that right there is why these cars are so easy to put air right on, guys. They actually sell brackets that bolt on right here. Actually, it bolts where your parking brake cable goes and it holds it there. And an airbag just goes in there instead of a coil spring. Same with the front, you bolt in airbags. On the back, you bolt in airbags. And it's super easy to put air right on these cars. 
I'm sure we'll do one one day. Just ain't gonna be this one. We're gonna pull our front bolts, roll that rear end out of there. Then we'll look at getting the other side off there. Sometimes you just gotta kick that old banana bar and let it know who's boss. Let's see if this rear end wants to cooperate with me. These suckers are super corroded. Uh, they are not gonna be fun. As this tries to spin, our control arms are gonna wedge her to the ground. Hopefully we can get her broke. See if she likes a little leverage. Holy cow. You ever have something hurt so bad you don't, you can't even cuss or shout? Yeah, that felt good. Here we go, round two. Come take this apart for me. What? Come take this apart for me. What do you, do? you pull it this way. This way? Up. Towards me. Ugh. That sucker's tight, eh? Yeah. It got me. Sucker stuck, ain't it? my help already they snapped the lock washer y'all having fun yet I'm having a blast I had to quit using our socket and breaker bar because uh, it was getting too close to our backing plate I wasn't gonna be able to get it off there it's all right though we just about got her whooped oh that gets you nice and sore, won't it? There she is. Hopefully that being a little cleaner helps this side. And we're gonna go straight to our freezing spray here. We're gonna freeze our nuts off. Check the sizzle on that old girl. She just sizzling. Oh yeah. Freeze it, baby, freeze it. That one broke way easier than the other side, especially considering I'm tightening it. That's good. That's right. We'll just impact her off. I like that way more better than the other side. Y'all don't think that pinion seal's leaking just a little bit, do you? Maybe just a little bit. I guess it ain't like super splined. It's kind of knurled or whatever the hell they say. Uh, but you see what I'm talking about in there? Now this one had a little more rust on it, it looks like. We'll have to check it a little closer. But looky here. Uh, Y'all know I'm a dirt dauber expert, and I ain't never seen no tiny little dirt dauber homes like that. What What's that from right there? I don't think it's dirt dauber, but I don't know. You can definitely tell this baby was uh, down in the ground. We're going to flip that baby up where it'll maybe quit leaking. And speaking of down in the ground, I'm a down and done for the day, guys. Not as far as I wanted to get, but progress is progress. Uh, man, that's a long frame. How long's your frame? Good, what, what, you eyeball that? It's like good 27 foot, probably, yeah? 
She's a 27 footer. Boy, I'm glad we got to work outside yesterday on that perfect day. It ain't terribly cool, just super duper windy. That old wind's flowing and a blowing. We need to break down our suspension today, so I think we're gonna start with the A arms to spindle a uh, little debacle we got going on. And I think our best bet is to just pull our torch out and uh, yeah, let her play with the old cutting torch. She's a rolling machine. Y'all like that anti-roll feature? If you got wheels, you you post the liability of your torch wanting to tip over. Well, when you gotta drag that sucker everywhere, oh, anti-roll guarantee. If that wasn't so heavy, I would've hit that baby with the moonwalk. Y'all know I ain't scared. I would've come around this corner right here and just got after it. Oh, 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 oh. Told y'all that thing don't tip over. We're just gonna get right into it, guys. Uh, we gotta leave for Texas, me and my wife, here in five hours or so. Uh, but, hey, I know well, sometimes when I say I'm going out of town, people's like, you shouldn't say that, then people are gonna show up. Guys, this video will post on a Monday. That means I'll already be here working again before this post. So if you show up thinking you're gonna get my stuff, all you're gonna do is show up and get got. Foot straight up the ass, knee deep. Think about that, the rest of that leg's gotta go somewhere. Last week when we used this thing, old Morsky, uh, old wise ass, he said, about time you use that torch that's been sitting in the corner for a couple of years or something, I don't know. Uh, but when he used a torch one of the times, didn't he set a truck on fire? What kind of idiot sets a truck on fire? Answer me that, Sir Mordecus. Cut the head of it clean off, heat it or it. Then I just smack the devil, clean out them spindles, or around on the spindle, and it looks to me like the ball joint's loose. Uh, she's obviously a little loose. <laughs> now we need to get the ball joint out of here too, but there's so much crud and hucky puck on here, I can't even tell what's going on with the ball joint. So for now, we'll sit her off to the side and we're gonna knock out the rest of these. I'm a little rusty with my torch. It's been sitting in the corner for a year and a half. Good thing is we ain't tore up our spindles at all. Side note, anything like that uh, that we're not gonna use, we're replacing the old stuff. I think I'm probably gonna take it and put it in the back of our 64 wagon. Cause that thing's R-U-F-F. -F. Could probably use any parts it could get. And, well, I just don't know what kind of shape it's in, so maybe we maybe we end up needing a spindle. Ain't no damn way we're gonna need that spindle. But you never know. Quick little flap attack and she's ready to separate. Separation complete. It's been rumored the previous owner of this wagon lubricated the front suspension every three days. I once heard that none of the Grease even made it into the ball joints. He just stacked it on top and let it harden. Well, fear not, suspension. Old Puddin's fabrication shop's gonna get you lined out. They said the sun was gonna come out around noon. Sure is a lot of clouds still though. Uh, gonna clean up our little mess here. Then we're gonna look at getting our ball joints out and basically we're just gonna make another mess. Now I'm not the most precise thing with the torch, uh, but let's see if I can get the heads of these rivets off. Then maybe we can smack the ball joint off. Then maybe we'll grind down the rivets and drive them out. 
Or maybe we'll just butcher our control arm. Who knows? I don't think we did near enough damage to them rivets to even get close to prying that apart. If it wants to party, we'll party. Yeah. Drilled them, couple left taps, boom, comes right out every time. What's nice is that bottom side's nice and flat, so it makes it easy to mark center we punch center, then we drill it straight through. And yeah, those are not very big holes. That's why I was scared to go at it with the torch. Next, we zip out the bolts on our cross shafts here. Go. Chiseled the head off of that one. Then I come to the back side of this one and chiseled off that little bit of bushing down here. A couple left taps that away, and uh, there we go. And we got her separated. Someone at one point smacked that. You see where that sleeve's kind of caved in? And look inside there, you can see where it's kind of bubbled up looking. My three-quarter socket uh, is fitting in there pretty good. A looby dooby. Now we're gonna give her a little, uh, uh, what do you call that? Persuasion. Yeah, I think we'll take that. Uh, we don't wanna flare it out and make it too big for our replacement bushing that'll end up going in there. Uh, she's broke down. Next, we're gonna tackle the big ends here. Uh, same concept, or we're gonna try the same crap. Watch me do what I do, baby. That's what I meant. So he's been a little more ornery than the others. So I kind of drilled out some of a rubber from the bushing you seen there and shot some looby dooby in. Slap our uh, bushing removal pliers on there. Works every time. There, just had to work her back and forth some with a little more looby dooby action. Which is good, because I was tired of smacking. I got hot, I had to pull my hoodie off. Ping, 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 ping. Her little sleeves for the bush and got some ass on them. Pop that nut. Thank goodness Bill showed up with the air hammer. We could have done it by hand, but we'd still be working on the first arm. Uh, or first bushing, I mean. It's sweating. <laughs> I want to pot to the end. It'll lose though, guys. It's always going to lose because we refuse to lose. So someone's got to lose. Me and Bill just had a ton of fun. One trick I kind of learned there was instead of trying to pull all the crap out, uh, once we got it to move a little bit, we dropped a nut down on this sucker and just used it as a drive and that kind of worked. Come to find out, I ain't the sharpest of shooters with the old uh, pneumatic hammering device. She got away from me here or there. So instead of having him blast that and paint that, uh, I'm gonna smooth any of that out that I tore up with our uh, other air tools. See, like our pan hard bar. Yeah, I got in there and just got after it. Nothing a little custom machining won't line out. Honestly, our 
control arms here. We could probably clean them up later because these things are a little pitted. Uh, we'll probably have him blast them, but not paint them yet. We may uh, box the bottom of this. Slap a dimple type. Dim <laughs> Slap a dimple die or two in them is what I was trying to say. Boom, boom, boom. Speed holes. Strong, but efficient. We'll see what we end up coming up with. Quick little brake line removal on the rear end. And quick uh, wheel cylinder removal, maybe not. Oh, there's a hammer. Say so turn one hammer to two hammers. All right, had to do a little rearranging. Sandblaster's supposed to be here in like 15 to 30 minutes, something in there. Uh, we're supposed to be leaving for Texas shortly after that. AKA I'm running behind because I ain't showered. I ain't packed. I ain't done none of that. I was hoping we we're going to get more done on this this week, but we're doing good just to get her tore down. Uh, at least that gives the sandblaster time to get doing what he's good at, guys. Uh, I'm kind of pumped about this thing. I mean, tear down went quick. We tore the body off last week. All that's broke down. I think next week we'll probably start patching up some rust on this thing. Uh, and yeah progress is progress uh every week i, I tell y'all sometimes I, I let myself down i think every week across everything i have going on in my life uh between family the editing side of things the second channel the merchandise and then the amount of work i'd like to get done every week i set unattainable goals that way i push myself every week uh but anyhow keeps you keeps you going hard i guess now in stock we got good looking women need that up my old cubby hole she's not for sale but let me show y'all what is for sale i showed y'all what was for sale last week y'all bought up a lot of this already nate dog's in here working his hiney off because y'all uh y'all flooded us on order so be patient with us uh, this is nathan by the way look look he ain't been here for long he doesn't took employee of the month I hope i can get it every month yeah I hope you better win every month <laughs> ain't got much competition hats shirts there's some left but like i said y'all y'all have killed it for us so thank you there and we'll get it out to you as fast as we can nathan's awesome he's a great kid and i'm happy to have him on our team helping us i appreciate y'all keeping us busy enough to the point that i need the help where i can bring in a young kid like that and kind of show him some of the stuff that i've learned just let him work you know next week rusty but trusty patches more than likely and be watching for the second channel for this little texas road trip thing i've been telling y'all about i appreciate y'all watching i appreciate y'all coming back uh, i'm on the instagrammer on the patreon puddingsfabshop.com i will see you guys next time but uh oh little slick fitty just pulled in do not forget sitting on your ass won't finish your project